Shiny gold coats significantly intensify the beauty of patterns in Lego paintings, ceramic products, or sculpture statues. Making these splendid covers in a traditional way is not easy. Craftsmen have to pound gold bars and undergo many meticulous steps to achieve the super thin leaves. The results are stunning. Gyuki village in the capital city of Hanoi stands out as the only village in the country maintaining this traditional craft for more than 500 years. The sounds of hammering can be heard long before one reaches the village. Our village is renowned for its sophisticated and unique traditional craft. The history of the craft dates back hundreds of years when artisan Nguyen Kui Tri first passed down the craft to Gyuki villagers after learning from China. Through many ups and downs, the craft has greatly developed, especially over the past three years, raising visitors' living standards with higher income. No one doubts the spectacular effects these shiny gold leaves add to the merchandise. But little do people know that in order to make a gold leaf, the craftsmen have to go through 40 different stages, all by hand. The first step is making gui paper. Craftsmen use a mixture of soot and glue made from buffalo skin to spread on a 4 by 6 square centimeter piece of traditional handmade zhao paper. Zhao papers are made from the bark of the zhao tree, which plays an important role in folk art and the famous Donghou paintings in particular because of its durability. Next, gold bars are burned and laminated before being cut into gold pieces of one square centimeter. These pieces are placed on the quay papers. The mixture spread on the papers will hold the gold squares for flattening. Craftsmen then hammer the gold squares until it is pressed thin over the paper. This is then cut into 12 pieces and each one placed on another piece of zhao paper that has already absorbed the mixture. And the hammering is continued to get the final product, very thin gold leaves. The last stage of the work is to remove the gold leaves from the pea paper. Of all the phases, separating gold leaves from quay papers is known as the hardest part of making gold leaf. After being pounded, the gold leaves and the quay papers are so firmly attached that even a tiny careless touch can break the leaf. Besides, due to the super thin density of the leaf, the craftsmen have to be really careful not to use fans on hot summer days or even not to breathe strongly. On windy days like today, the craftsmen even have to stay inside a mosquito net to avoid the gold leaves being blown away. I really wish that our craft village could receive more support from the authorities because as you can see we have to work in a very difficult situation. Only delicate craftsmen can stand the heat of standing inside a net in summer. Besides the raw material of the craft is real gold, a precious metal, so not every household in the village can afford the initial investment. For me, I love the craft and I will continue doing it. We are calling for business investment and cooperation. This year in particular, we are seeking collaboration with travel companies to organize tours to the village to promote its unique craft. Thank you.
Gilgi shiny gold leaves cover thousands of structures, screens, and objects all across Vietnam, including the Hanoi Opera House, the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, and monuments in the Imperial City of Hue. Large volumes of these sheets have also been exported to Japan and Thailand. Gilgi's unique legacy has added to the capital city's fame as a place where hundreds of traditional crafts have thrived for centuries.